Hi everybody and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Rosa and in today's video we're going to talk about an important topic, DMARC compliance for PCI DSS. As many of you have already heard, by March 2025, businesses are going to be required to implement DMARC for their PCI DSS compliance. But what does that mean for your company and what are the steps you need to take to achieve this? Stay tuned as we break down what DMARC is and how you can implement it for your PCI DSS. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding what PCI DSS is. PCI DSS stands for Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, and it is a set of requirements designed to protect cardholder data. These requirements were developed by major credit card companies such as Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and JCB. And their primary focus is securing systems that store, transmit, and process cardholder data with requirements for encryption, firewalls, and access controls. With the rise in phishing attacks, targeting sensitive payment information, strong email security measures are now a key part of PCI DSS Volume 4, which is where DMARC comes in. Now, why does PCI DSS specifically require DMARC? Well, email remains a major communication channel for businesses, but it's also one of the top targets for cyber criminals. Email phishing and spoofing attacks can lead to massive data breaches and will often result in financial losses and affect your business reputation. In its latest version 4.0, PCI DSS focuses on securing your email communication and protecting your systems from malware that are often delivered via phishing attacks. DMARC, that stands for Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting and Conformance, ensures that only legitimate emails are sent from your domain, therefore protecting you from phishing and spoofing attacks. This is why PCI DSS emphasizes the importance for DMARC for protecting cardholder data. Now let me briefly explain what DMARC is and how it works. DMARC is one of the most important security measures that helps you protect your domain from phishing and spoofing attacks. It works based on two security protocols, SPF and DKIM. SPF helps you whitelist your legitimate IPs, allowing them to send emails on behalf of your domain, while DKIM helps to ensure that your emails aren't tampered with and protects the integrity of the email content. DMARC ties both of these security protocols together and allows the domain owner to set a policy on how to handle unauthorized emails. Getting started with DMARC implementation involves a few key steps. Here's how we at Easy DMARC help our clients with the implementation process. First, publish your DMARC record. First, you need to create and publish a DMARC record in your domain's DNS. Here is what the record looks like. Make sure that you start with the policy none, so as not to affect your email delivery, and make sure to include the RU and rough tags in your record to collect your DMARC aggregate and forensic reports. Step number two, monitor and analyze your DMARC reports. After publishing your DMARC record, you'll start receiving your DMARC reports. Now it's time to analyze them to identify all your legitimate sending sources and any misconfigurations and authentication issues. Step number three, move to quarantine or reject. After configuring all of your sending sources and making sure that you're all set, move to stricter policies such as quarantine or reject to block unauthorized emails. Step number four, continuous monitoring. Please make sure that you continuously monitor your DMARC reports to address any issues that may arise with email authentication. While DMARC is a key piece of the puzzle, PCI DSS compliance goes beyond email security. You also need to make sure that you have a strong network security with firewalls and intrusion detection systems, as well as regular software updates and patches. Employee training is another critical factor. Ensuring your staff can recognize a phishing attempt can stop a breach before it happens. Using encryption, multi-factor authentication, as well as having a solid incident response plan are also essential for a comprehensive security strategy. 
This is everything you need to know about the PCI DSS DMARC requirements. Remember that DMARC should be an integral part of your email infrastructure as it's the only way to ensure your outbound email security. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our team at EasyDMARC for assistance before the March 2025 deadline.